producer Steve Albini, refused to take a percentage of the album royalties, electing to work only for a flat fee. Okay, so that fee was $100,000, which is no small amount to an average person, but considering that the album would go on to sell well over 15 million copies, 100k is chump change compared to what he could have collected even with a mere 1% cut. Albini felt that it would be unethical to demand a percentage of royalties from the band, especially considering that Nirvana intended to produce a minimalistic album with very little input from anyone who wasn't named Kurt, David, or Chris. Even going so far as to say, I think paying a royalty to a producer or engineer is ethically indefensible, in a four-page proposal that he sent to the band when requesting to work on the album. As Steve himself told Spin Magazine, all of the people that were carping at the band from the outside about what a mistake they'd made with this record, that pretty accurately represented what they wanted to do with their music. All of those people. Parasites. They weren't involved in making the record. They want, somehow or another, to claim authorship of this creative output of these other people who are actually doing the heavy lifting for their career. I can't have any respect for somebody like that, who's not involved in the creative process, but then decides that they want to snipe at it from the outside and manipulate people into doing things to suit them. Fuck every one of those people. I can't accept that. But I'll tell you what I can do. I can take extra special care of that young lady over there. For nothing. Okay, I appreciate that. Have a nice afternoon. Well, sir, um, could I trouble you for a glass of warm milk? It helps put me to sleep. You could trouble me for a warm glass of milk. Hey, Check out the name tag. 